The Sonosite M Turbo offers superb image quality and increased speed, along with Sonosite's traditional reliability in a laptop sized unit. This short video will demonstrate the key features and functions of the Sonosite M Turbo system. For more in depth information, please refer to the system user guide. The M-Turbo operates efficiently on either AC or battery power. You install the battery with the system upside down. Slide the battery into the battery compartment until it locks into place. Push down on the two locking levers to secure the battery. If the battery is being installed for the first time, it will need to be charged. To remove the battery, push up on the two locking levers. Slide the battery back and lift the battery from the compartment. To connect a transducer, turn the system upside down. Pull the transducer latch up and rotate it clockwise. Insert the transducer connector. Turn the latch counterclockwise and press the latch down. To remove the transducer, pull the latch up and rotate it clockwise. Pull the transducer connector away from the system. On the right side of the system, there are ports for USB devices. These can be used for image storage and system software upgrades. The system control panel is simple to use. Many controls and features are automated to simplify the user interface and minimize the number of keys and the keys are backlit for easy viewing in darker environments. To turn the system on, press the power key once. The system will power up completely in 15 seconds. The alphanumeric keys are used to enter text and numbers. Text turns the keyboard on and off for text entry. Picto turns the pictographs marker on and off. Arrow displays an arrow that can be moved and rotated within the image area. Zoom magnifies the image two times. Press once to choose region of interest and again to magnify the area of interest. The system can automatically adjust the 2D gain levels to the optimal level. Select Auto Gain to activate this feature instead of using the manual gain controls. There are two keys for adjustment of imaging depth. Depth up decreases imaging depth. Depth down increases imaging depth. On the left-hand side, there are three controls for gain compensation. Near adjusts the gain applied to the near field of the image. Far adjusts the gain applied to the far field of the image and gain adjusts the overall gain applied to the entire image. When an image is frozen, the gain knob can be used to review images in the cine buffer. Counterclockwise and clockwise rotation of the knob scrolls backward and forward through the stored images. When you are closing the system for transport, depress the knobs to lock them into place. In the lower middle of the control panel is the touchpad, which can be used to select, adjust, and move objects on the screen. Surrounding the touchpad are the system controls that are used most frequently. The freeze button stops the live imaging and displays a frozen image. The select key is used to make various choices depending upon the function that is activated. It is used to switch between calipers for measurement, selections on color and Doppler menus, frozen images in duplex and dual screens, pictograph marker position, and arrow position or orientation. There are two functions on either side of the select key, set and save calc. The set key confirms caliper location for measurements. The save calc key transfers the measurement to the patient report. The Calcs key turns the calculation menu on and off. The menu displayed is determined by the transducer selection and exam type that is chosen. 
The generic caliper button activates up to eight sets of calipers on the screen. From this menu, area measurements may also be selected. On the right side of the touchpad, you have image storage options. Clip storage allows you to save a movie of the ultrasound image. A clip length from 2 to 60 seconds may be captured. The Save button allows you to save an image or clip to the internal storage on the system. Above the touchpad are two shortcut or programmable keys, A and V. You may choose a function for each of these keys in the Setup menu. The default value for A is Print. The default value for B is Record. You may assign functions to these keys to create the shortcut you desire. Other functions include Show or Hide Mode Data, End Exam, Reset Gain Setting to Defaults, Clips Menu, Print, Record, and None. The Exam key is located to the right of the touchpad. This key can be selected during a patient exam to quickly change exam types without having to return to the patient data entry screen. The Exam Types menu lists the exam types that are appropriate for the transducer selected. Selecting the appropriate exam type ensures that system parameters have been adjusted for optimal viewing of the structure of interest. Below the Exam key is the Update key. This allows you to toggle between dual and duplex screens and image modes in M mode and Doppler. At the top of the control panel are a series of six sets of two button groups. These are the remappable controls, or soft keys. The keys are used to adjust the values of each control displayed in the context menu. The menu displayed will vary depending on the mode or feature activated. When selected, the key will cycle through a list of values, or the up-down function can be used to quickly access the function. The Mode buttons are located on the lower right-hand side of the control panel. M-Mode turns M-Mode on and toggles between M-Mode Sample Line and M-Mode Trace. Doppler turns Doppler on and toggles between Doppler Sample Line and Doppler Trace. Color turns Color Doppler or Color Power Doppler on and off. You may use the 2D button to exit any scanning mode and return to 2D imaging.